and I'm now introducing exactly five seconds of delay. 7.23. 7.23 minus 2.23 is exactly five milliseconds. Every good experiment needs a control, right? And I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos and a lot of tests and data sheets on different latencies with different pieces of equipment that we have. But in order for any of that to be valid, I do need to do some control tests and make sure that what I'm doing is a good process and I've tested that process against itself with other pieces of equipment. So today we're gonna to be using Smart. This is version nine. I'm using a sound bullet as my tone generator. With that, currently, I'm going to send one leg into input one, and that's going to be our measurement. And then I'm going to send another end into input two, and that is going to be our reference, which I'm highlighting with the mouse. Now, the first test that we need to do is, I just have a Y connected to that, going to both inputs, that should just be zero delay. It's off of a Y, there should be no measurable difference at all, and that's gonna be the first test we're gonna do. So, sound bullet. I'm sending pink noise. Pink noise is going to input one and two, which is going to our measurement and our reference. Now if I go into transfer function, I'm gonna create the transfer function. We'll call this latency zero. And close and start. And now if I find delay, we have zero milliseconds. That's of course what we expected. Didn't think that would be anything else, but in order to do a proper control, we have to start there. So the next thing we're going to do is capture the latency of this QL1 going uh, now with the second line, our, I'm sorry, the first line, our measurement line. I'm gonna keep the second input as my reference. And this line, I'm now gonna send into an input on the QL1 and I'm gonna return out of an Omni back into my measurement. So, this cable is connected to an Omni on the back of that QL1, Omni 1. And now I'm taking this Y and I'm sending it to channel one on the console. And the latency that I'm gonna calculate is the time that it takes for a signal to enter the console on a channel, and then that same signal to exit on the Omni on the back of a channel. I've done this test before. I believe it's around 2.23, but let's check it again. Once again, I'm going to go into Smart, and now I'm going to hit Find, 2.23. Now we're going to write this down. I've done this test here. And here's 2.23. Now, that same output on the console, I'm going to intentionally create exactly five milliseconds of delay. And if you could show this. So I have the output port of Omni 1, and I'm now introducing exactly five seconds of delay. So now, our initial measurement is 2.23 for the latency of the signal entering the channel and exiting an Omni. I should now have an additional five milliseconds and it should be exactly five. I'm once again going to find delay. 7.23. 7.23 minus 2.23 is exactly five milliseconds. Now, Let's add 10 and see what happens. If I add 10, I should have created a delta of five milliseconds, again, proving our workflow is accurate. So now I have 10 milliseconds, and I'm gonna hit find delay again. And now this is 12.23. 12.23 minus 2.23 is 10 milliseconds. And I have introduced exactly now, just for fun, because the console and the encoder wants to jump in five, let's test it at, let's test it at a weird one. Let's test it at 9.3. So, we're gonna hit find delay again. And that's 11.52. And if we go over here into a calculator, 
because my brain isn't working that fast. If we do 11.52 minus 9.3, we should get exactly, it's, it's within a hundredth plus or minus 2.22. So again, we have just proven that the process of finding that latency is sound and we wanna check these results and I wanna check these results against something that is not this. So I'm gonna run these same tests again, this time in Reaper and then compare them with the math that I got here. And I've done that and I'm gonna show you guys the results as screenshots and within Reaper, um, the results are, are right there. I'm calculating, it, it calculated as 2.2. .2. I didn't get the, the 2.23 but close enough to say that this process is a sound process. And now, if I take the console out of line and I put another piece of equipment in line, the latency that I get from that is, is sound and that, that is accurate. So this is my control test. I've done this control test and now I'm gonna move on to further testing. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.